grab by Rothwell with the right hand. And now Barnett trying to initiate another clinch, maybe even take him down. Look at this. Rothwell looking to get a hold of the neck of Barnett. This is a good choke. This is one of his specialties. But can he tap Josh Barnett with it? He's he got did! It. it is all over! Ben Rothwell by submission! Wow! It might be the first time Josh Barnett has ever tapped by submission. Puts his weight on it and turns that neck. And Josh Barnett is in a world of pain here. For Josh Barnett to tap like that, man, that is a gigantic feather in the cap of Ben Rothwell. That's a bare hand going against the skull. And as we've seen at the UFC, that usually results go. in a broken hand. Go. And not a knockout. Now Severin punching from the ground. It's not a good area to hit. Those were little rabbit ones trying to get caught in the move. You shift position. And that's it. It may look like an eye gouge, it's not an eye gouge. Severin just has his hands on the face trying to push it away to create distance. But it was right then that Coleman was able to lift that head up tall. You saw Severin's hand move to the side, and that's when he tapped out. Right here, Severin tried to turn to his belly, and there is when he exposed his head fully, and that's when Coleman cinched it. Look out for Frank Mir, possibly to take this to the ground and end it quickly. This He's very strong, but he's had some uh, stand-up techniques he's been working on. He's been working with his uh, Stand up using the front kick there. Left, right, landed. He's doing awesome. Beer is looking good standing. This guy could consistently is improving. improving. Look at him working for triangle. Impressive. Look for him here on the ground, ladies and gentlemen. He has the ability to do some amazing things for a big man his size. Look at working. that. Look at that. Looking for it quickly. He's got it spun. Can he finish? Here's a tap. Oh, my. How quick was that? How good was that? He has that arm torn outward. Look at him controlling the hip. And Pete Williams has enough. But my oh my, or should I say Mir oh Mir, 46 seconds with the submission finish. You really realize how big Tim Sylvia is when you see him dwarf Andre Olavsky. Oh, oh, big right hand! Big shot by Orlovsky! Down goes Sylvia! Orlovsky trying to come in strong! Oh, he rocked his way! Extremely intelligent, the knots very big. Oh, so incredible. Andre Orlovsky! Unbelievable! Tim Silver! Andre Orlovsky shows well rounded skills! Drops him with a right hand and finishes him with a heel hook! Throws some punches, sees a loose leg, and just grabs a hold of it and spins. And then why did the submission work here, Frank? Well, he almost has a, he's just doing basically a straight foot lock. If he would have went for the heel hook right off the bat, it would been a little bit better. Oh, he but did it, tap him with a foot lock. Yeah, it wasn't, it actually wasn't a heel hook, but he did get on the side so we can, you can see now that he can use the leverage to basically guillotine his foot and go all the way back. And now a cut on the other side for Alexi Olenek. He's going Ezekiel again. Looks like he's going to try for it. He's going to try and fit that left hand right on the throat. Only in half guard, but he'll go for it anyway. He's trying it. Please, please, please. Oh my God! Alexi Olenek with another Ezekiel choke finish. You gotta be kidding me with this. From guy. the bottom, from I told you he will do it from anywhere. But look at this. Goes over the top. Looks for the Ezekiel from the bottom, which is incredible no gi to pull this off. It's basically a gi move that uses the lapel to choke a guy out, and he does it with his arms. Look at this, he sneaks the hand in. And right there, the squeeze with the arms. Look at the right hand of Albini. Hesitates for a second, and right there's the tap. Another hard right hand by Fabrizio. And Kane's swollen and bloody. We've, we've never, we've never see. seen Kane look like that. Get him! Get him! Look at him lock it in! Can he get it? He's stopping! It, it, it is all it's over! Like it is all over! Fabrizio Verdun is the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion! Wow! Unbelievable! Unbelievable!
unbelievable. What a performance by Fabrizio Verdun. And to catch him with the guillotine, after battering him with exchanges on the feet, man, and his corner called for the takedown. Very few people on the planet have the jiu-jitsu skill of Fabrizio Verdum in the heavyweight division. Look how he locked that up absolutely perfectly. Good leg kick by Mir. Oh, he rocks Frank Mir. Lesnar. He's in a dominant position now. Look Mir's in a lot of trouble. Quickly. Mir is in trouble. Lesnar can't get too overconfident. Lesnar's got to be very careful. Mir has a very dangerous guard. He's got to be Going careful. Get the his there. Lesnar, back up. It's going to be very difficult for him to pass the guard of Frank Mir. It's a very unusual guard. He's going for a foot lock. He's going to get the leg. Lester! He's in a hand. He's in a hand. He's in a hand. Frank Mir defeats Brock Lesnar. There are so few heavyweights that have such an agile guard. And here he gets it. He flips him over, locks a hold of it, pulls it in deep. And Brock Lesnar forced to submit. Pretty good right hand by Pesta. Now another. Right back to that cradle. Now he's done two different cradles today. He did a near side cradle, and there was a far side cradle just to really maintain control. As he's now advancing positions, I mean, this is great grappling, just using those punches to move himself into the mount position. But he got the go. He got <laughs> Hold up, hold up. Another okay. one. Hey, do me a favor, just sit right here. <laughs> and sit there, up. wow, I sit mean, up. Victor Pesta is Stop. still recovering. Alexei Olenek does it again. Another Ezekiel choke. He already has the choke in on the bottom. Victor Pesta starts to punch and realizes, wait, he's actually got me. I thought I was winning this fight. Some UFC history made tonight. Congratulations, Alexei Olenek. The first Ezekiel choke finish in UFC history. Carwin looking to explode again. There's the big shot. There it is. He's got him on his back. This is bad for Shane Carwin. The two best heavyweights in the world. Battling for the number one spot in the world. He's got the mount. He's got an arm triangle. Trying to finish this fight. Trying to stay very relaxed is yeah. Shane Carwin. With one of the strongest men in the mixed martial arts world. Oh, it is all over! It is all over! Wow! wow. Lesnar is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world! Wow! Wow! As soon as he started turning the corner, see how he's turning there? That's when he tightened it up. Before that, Shane had a little bit of air, but as soon as he started turning that corner, he just locked it up tight, and that's it. Good start for Big Nog. He connects again. Oh! Takes in big oh. trouble. Huge trouble. Mildera looking to finish this fight. Herb Dean right on top of the action. He's sprawling. Oh, he's got a guillotine. Looking to finish it right here. Can Frank Rowan get on top? Yes, he can. Wow. At least this gives him an opportunity to recover if Minotaur doesn't hit this switch. Frank rolls. Oh, side control for Mir. Look at this. Kamora for Frank Mir. Can he get the submission? Oh, no, oh, he might have it. To trouble. Oh, look at this. Unbelievable. Trying to finish it. He's got it. It is over. It is over.